here on this side we have an existing manhole over here which has a cover level of 18.9 meters. We intend joining this manhole to a new manhole to be constructed on the far side of the site at a proposed cover level of 20.65 meters. We have already joined both manhole covers with a polyline using the polyline option from the ribbon at the top. We're now going to convert this to an alignment. On the ribbon at the top, select Alignment and select Create Alignment from Objects. Selecting the polyline previously created, click it and press Enter. The arrow in this particular case is going from right to left, so hitting R for Reverse will reverse the direction of that arrow. This alignment we will now call Proposed uh, new sewer and the design style will take as being standard. That has now created the alignment or in other words the proposed construction line for the sewer. The next step is to create a profile of the existing ground. On the ribbon at the top select profile and taking the first option Create Surface Profile, click the alignment that we've just chosen which is Proposed New Sewer and Surface 1 is the surface and we add it and selecting Draw in Profile View we select 10 times the exaggeration and then opt for Create Profile View. Moving to a part of the site, click and place our profile. This now gives us a profile of the existing ground, what it looks like from the side. We see here at the bottom that we have our text boxes and we have a text box called Horizontal Geometry. We're now going to edit that by clicking on it and right clicking and selecting Profile View Properties. Going to the option which is the Bands, we select the last option Horizontal Geometry and we exit or get rid of it from the profile and apply. Click OK. We're now going to draw in our sewer manually on the drawing um, so that we can show what the formation levels would be like for this proposed sewer. Zooming in on our drawing, we again select Profile and this time we select Profile Creation Tools, the second option down and we click on the profile where we want to draw it and this time our proposed profile is the formation levels. And again, we're going to select the standard style. We're going to click OK. This gives us a floating toolbar with a selection of tools for drawing profiles manually. We will select the option on the extreme left, which is Draw Tangents. So zooming in at approximately somewhere around 17 meters, we click and going across to the far side and specifying an endpoint of 70 meters we press enter. That now has created our profile for our proposed sewer. However, we will note that the data here is not uh, quite what we had intended. For example, the gradient for the sewer is 1.32% and the starting point or the formation level at the existing manhole is 17%. Uh, meters odd. To be more precise and to be specific about our design criteria we can change these values by clicking on the profile and selecting this option here on the toolbar which is the profile grid view. We can now change the starting point for our station as being exactly zero meters. We can specify the end point for our station as being exactly 70 meters and we can put in our initial elevation as being 18.2 meters. Our gradient we're going to choose as being 1.2%. Uh, and now looking at our profile on the drawing, we now see that these changes have been affected. Our gradient is 1.2%.
and we're now at 18.2 meters. And clicking on the drawing at the bottom, we can see that it now has the um, levels, existing levels drawn in. However, it doesn't have the proposed levels, so now we're going to add those. Clicking on the profile again and right clicking and selecting profile view properties. We go to the bands again and we now are going to add the profile two levels so that they appear on the text boxes at the base and click OK. We're also going to add the level difference and again click OK. In order for these to display the correct values, we need to go across to the bands and go to Profile 2 and alter it from the existing proposed new sort to the second option, which is Formation Levels. So we change every one of them down along to Formation Levels, which are the levels for the base of the sewer. And so on. And then Apply and we click OK. Now when we go down to our text boxes at the base, we can see that not only are the existing levels in, we also have the proposed new levels as well. For example, we have a proposed level of 18.2, 18.32, 18 18.44, all the way across to 19.04. These are the existing levels, and here are the level differences, each one giving a positive value, indicating that the ground has to be cut right across to the section. And that's how you create a longitudinal section or a profile uh, for a proposed show run.